The following is part of an indigo activation offered through the Energetic Synthesis website. The following recited text is taken from the PDF overview that comes with this activation, in which Lisa discusses humanity's history in regards to earth seeds, star seeds, and the indigo grail line. And I will leave a link in the description if you would like to purchase this activation. Now you can purchase this activation for only one dollar. It contains an indigo ascension class, an indigo activation meditation track, and the indigo PDF overview. And this is an incredible amount of valuable content for such a low price. And I highly recommend it if you were called uh, down this path. And as always, I shared this with the intent of helping and empowering, not for my own ego glorification. In the Earth human lineage, there were seven root races and five additional races seated within the Earth gene pool. The seven root races are called the Earth Seeds. Each Earth Seed root race evolution cycle was to develop one of the first five strands of DNA within the 12 strand DNA original divine human blueprint. The latter additional five races are referred to as the cloister races. Their function was to keep the 12 strand DNA potential alive for the entire human race and represent the advancement of human evolution. The cloister races are also called the star seeds. So the earth seeds were a part of the planetary evolutionary cycle to activate each DNA strand 1 through 5 and then to anchor in each new respective level of dimensional experience for the human species on earth. And the star seeds were a part of the planetary evolutionary cycle to hold the dormant DNA strands 7 through 12 in order to have the template of the divine human intact through the cycles of evolution. Even though these DNA strands are dormant, it keeps the potential of the divine humans through spiritual inheritance as a 12-strand DNA avatar possible. Each strand of DNA, when activated, correlates to the dimensional field of awareness available to the soul when incarnated in the human physical body. Throughout the course of human history, there has been additional genetic material contributed from various star families, creating large varieties of star seeds on Earth. Further hybridization and genetic enhancements resulted in a perfect prototype intended as the seed race for humanity. The perfected genetic code created through this hybridization is referred to as the Indigo Grail Lineage. This Indigo Grail Lineage holds the DNA design to transmute entirely out of biological form and or hold simultaneously a 12th dimensional awareness within a biological form. These Indigo Grail lines are the primary Grail lines or the Christ Grail lines among the human races. Absolutely all human biologies have the potential to receive genetic acceleration, evolutionary advancement that will allow the 12 strand DNA template to regenerate. This is one of the major purposes of the indigo grail lines, to regenerate and activate dormant or damaged DNA templates in the human races. All indigos are born with the sixth DNA strand activated. Also, there are additional encodings operational within the sixth DNA substrands which allow for the memory of other soul identity aspects to be made available 
when the indigo is embodied in 3D. However, as indigos incarnate with the sixth strand activation, it only becomes functional if they can assemble the lower substrand fragments to plug fully into the sixth strand. This if depends on what they inherit from their parents' gene code and what kind of environment they are raised in. As we move forward into this ascension cycle, the planetary frequency activations will steadily increase in vibrational scale and octave. These higher frequencies, when exposed to the indigo bioenergy field, will increase the probability of these genetic enhancements fully activating and thus it becomes available to all of humanity.